Some call this day the beginning of kindly find attached, while others say it is the start of the day of kind regards. No matter how you see it, the fear of Mondays, also called deterophobia or lunadisophobia, is a reality. Usually on Sunday nights, social media is awash with memes on how Monday is fast approaching, but not everyone is ready for it. Monday, yeah. A 2021 UN Workforce data says Monday fear is a phobia that affects over 250,000 people in America alone. And a LinkedIn report says the numbers are higher than ever with 66% of professionals saying they have the scaries. After a stress-free weekend off from work, the first day of the week puts people in the grind again. From meeting deadlines to presentations, Monday has a reputation for itself. In fact, the Guinness Book of Records in 2022 recognized the day as the worst of the week. So I have been asking, why is Monday so hated? On Monday mornings, that's when they engage you to find out what you read. This kind of pressure usually continues and eases as the week goes by. Okay. So it's usually very intense on Mondays, then on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, it eases along the week. They rest for two days and then all, all of a sudden they have to go to work the next day, submit to their bosses, do some active works. So that's why I think people hate Monday. There are so many reasons why someone might dread the start of a new week. Some of these you may not even be aware of. And the president of the Psychologists Association of Ghana, Dr. Colin Sajiman, has been explaining the psychology behind this. It's about what we have internalized. Now in psychology, there is something we call learning by association. There is a lot of pressure on Monday because I need to do reporting. There's a lot of pressure because I need to shoulder all the demands of the previous week I couldn't finish. There's a lot of pressure because I may have to face that particular supervisor who harasses or bully me. So I have drawn a connection between what happens on Monday and how I feel. That learning by association will make me dislike Mondays. Petra Abbasamwa is a senior corporate executive with over two decades of working in corporate Ghana. She tells me workplace culture is a key contributor to Monday's scaries. When you're in the wrong place, um, you don't feel like that's, that's a space that you are thriving. The environment might be toxic. You might not get along properly with your work colleagues. You might be having a very difficult boss. <laughs> um, so there are different reasons that will lead you to feeling or to having negative emotions when you think about going to a place. And in this situation, going to the place of work. Overcoming the scare is twofold. Both the individual and the organization have roles to play. We spend about a third of our lives at the workplace. Managers of the workplace must make the workplace a go-to area. I think the workplace, we need to have a sense of community. If we see the workplace as an edifying space to go to, and I see myself that I belong here. Recognize that work is a necessary thing for you. Once you, you, you agree in your mind <clears throat> that this is something you have to do, it makes it a bit easier for you to accommodate that. This is your reality. The next thing is try and get ahead of your day. Don't arrive at work on a Monday not knowing what you're going to do. Attack the most difficult of your tasks. What that does is it gives you extra energy and drive to want to go and attack it and finish it off. Analyze yourself. What's the cause of this dread? Am I having a challenge with my immediate supervisor? Some people just say, oh, my boss is difficult. No, your boss is not just difficult. Figure out what exactly it is. Mondays have always been with us and it has come to stay. And the saying goes, innovate or be left behind. Grace Hamwajuman, TV3 News, Accra.